What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are looking at Global Feats today. Global Feats for the latest edition of Conquest. I hope you are ready with your meze board of cheeses because I am going to help you get these feats done. Let's get that red box, baby. So what do we have for global events? We have got the Follow My Lead ability. Attempt to call allies to assist with booming voice 60 times. You need to complete the I Know Everything feat. Now, I didn't do this because I have the Conquest Pass Plus this time round. Essentially, we need to defeat 35 enemies with Moff Gideon in order to unlock that particular data disk. After that, it's pretty easy. We need to defeat 250 enemies on the Golden Challenge Path. Essentially, what you want to be doing, guys, every opportunity, stay on that Golden Challenge Path throughout the entirety of Conquest. It's going to give you additional options for data disks. Um, and getting 250 kills is very, very easy. We then need to win 15 battles with at least four Gungans in your squad. You can get this done with low gear Gungans. Mine are all relic I'm sorry, I can't take off those relic levels, but you have options available to you. We then need to win 15 battles with Captain Rex surviving, which is super, super easy. Defeat 35 enemies with Jed Knight Cal Kestis. We've got a wonderful cheese for that. Defeat 35 enemies with Dark Trooper Moff Gideon. Same again. And we need to win 15 battles with Master Qui-Gon and Padawan Obi-Wan surviving. Now, we've been doing this as we've been progressing, but there are some very good teams to get that done as well. You should be able to get that done in literally two, three days max. After that, we need to complete a battle with Overprepared 1, which you get for um, completing the battles with uh, Gungans in your squad, the 15 battles with Gungans in your squad, or if you've got the Pass Plus, you'll have it organically. And then we've got an extra one over here. Extra one over here that actually doesn't give us any data disks, just gives us a noble thing. I might as well cover that as well. Uh, we need to win three battles with Count Dooku, Nisa, Queen Amidala, Princess Leia, and Royal Guard in the squad. It's a, it's a funny old squad. First and foremost, then, let's take out the data disks that we are using. Today's data disks are as follows. Amplifier Agony, three times. Instable Decelerator, Ruthless Swiftness, and Volatile Accelerator. Essentially, this setup allows us to deal additional debuffs whenever we deal damage to the enemy. Those debuffs are going to trigger additional max health damage to the enemy, quite a significant a lot thanks to Amplify Agony. Then we are going to have the enemy lose that turn meter thanks to Unstable Decelerator, the one that they get over here from Volatile Accelerator. And after that, when the enemy drops below 100% health, we're all going to gain 27% turn meter, which is going to help us take a bunch of turns. It's a wonderful setup. So this is that silly feat. I'm just going up against the bonus node in Sector 1 against the Bad Batch. With the data... So here we go. What are we going to do? We're just going to start off with a little bit of shock and start doing crazy, crazy damage. I'll use this ability. It's not going to summon an ally. I'll stealth. I mean, honestly, I, I don't know. We're just smashing buttons at this point. We're really just smashing buttons. And I think I'm okay with that as a, as a principle. Gun. Gun. Yeah. Okay. We got this. Yeah, baby. We've got it. Easy money. Let's throw some rocks at tech right now. Go on. Throw them. Get them. Beautiful. It's pretty straightforward. Do this three times, you know, once every couple of days. If you care about this feat at all, be my guest. Be my guest. So I'm dropping the Unstable Decelerator for an additional Amplify Agony here. We're just going to go up against the Bad Batch in Sector 1 on the bonus node so we can farm some Datacrons, get some data cash at the same time. Thrawn lead with Moff Gideon, throwing in Dark Trooper Moff Gideon. You can see all the damage that we've dealt to the enemy there. Just going to pass around this turn. You can either pass to Cal Kestis, and Cal Kestis can do one hit and then get a nice AoE here, boom, and everybody dies. Or you can pass over to DTMG, do the same thing, get him that turn. He'll then be able to do a nice AoE and kill everybody off. It's super, super easy. You can knock two birds out with one stone. We'll show the, the exact same principle here, but using uh, swapping the turn over to DTMG instead. You can farm both of these at the same time. It's pretty brainless. With the Thrawn lead, you can use the event special ability, so you don't have to take a turn. Then we'll just pass over to DTMG here, and then we'll just use the AE. Five kills. Pretty brainless, pretty straightforward, nice and easy. We've done this one a couple of times in previous conquests. Very, very useful. And as you see, we can still farm Datacrons at the same time. It's wonderful. It will take you a short while, seven battles in total if you're getting five kills per turn, but it certainly can help you out and get it done. We can take the same approach to Gungans. You want to throw in one person that does a lot of debuffs. So if you've got someone like Lord Vader, for example, he'll be amazing here. I'm just going to use Dash. I'll try to just use a basic with my Gungans here to try and simulate terrible stuff, but they're just really good to use. 
Dash will get that cleared out so, so well in just one hit. You can also use stuff like JML. You can use Ray. Ray will protect all those Gungans. I just didn't want to do too many options that were just, um, just Galactic Legends for you. Now, obviously, if you have any sort of gear in your Gungans, they'll be able to get those wins very, very easily. So for Master Qui-Gon Jinn and Padawan Obi-Wan, it's actually very, very easy. You have a lot of people available to you here that can get this done. I'm going to th show first example in Sector 4 against the Geos here using Queen Armadala. I know not everybody has this. I like to use Bad Batch Echo and Tech because they've got lots of debuffs and a bunch of speed to help us get out the gate. So doing this, you can even have relatively low gear team and still get that work done. Pretty, pretty good. Now, obviously, I understand not many people are going to have Queen Armadala unlocked. Not many people are going to have much gear or at all any in um, Master Qui-Gon or Padawan Obi-Wan, but that's okay. You can actually do it if I had any stamina with the likes of JML, for instance, and just throw in all the Jedi. All of the Jedi. The Jedi. I'll waste a large consumable there on Master Qui-Gon Jinn. Um, who should we take in over here? Generally speaking, we want people that are relatively fast. Uh, let's throw in Jedi Knight Revan. So over here, you can use JML, for example, with the support of uh, the other two. All we really need is that first turn. They don't really have much in the way of AoEs, these Geos. We should be relatively okay, you know, if we ever get to take a turn. Can I, can I, Geos, can I have one turn? Hey, there we go. We get one turn thanks to the savior mechanic. Gosh, mighty. One turn is usually all you need when you've got these uh, volatile accelerator and amplifier agony setups. Let's just do an AOE here and pass it back around. Everybody's just sort of going to die. It's pretty easy with JML. You can also get it done with JMK. So you can go in with JMK, GK, those two, and Cat, and it'll be easy, easy money. You can also do it with Keller and Beck leadership, okay? Failing that, you can also use Beskar Armor Mando with Dash, Han, uh, yeah, Beskar Armor Mando with Dash and Han, then take in those two. Like, this works like a charm. I go straight after Brood, and then you just do the big old pop over here, blap. Bonus nodes for days, no GLs required. You get that instant turn meter out of Han. It's very, very simple and straightforward. Of course, one of the feats is we do also have to use that over-prepared data disk. So all you do for that is you equip it, and, well, we're out of stamina over here, so let's, let's just imagine that the others are quite gone Jin and Master Master Padawan Obi-Wan. It, 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 yeah, just imagine that they're there, and, and it works exactly the same. The overprepared is going to give us a little bit of bonus turn meter, which is quite nice. Just go in, you use it once, and that's it. You're done. For the booming voice, Literally just equip it right at the end. Do it as one of the last feats that you need to get done, okay? Because it demands a data disk swap. When it comes to the setup that I'm using over here, I would just drop out, you know, potentially get rid of one of the Amplify Agonies and yeah, maybe the, maybe two Amplify Agonies to throw in Booming Voice and just go ahead, farm it out on these bonus nodes and you should be fine. Just save it to right at the end and everything should be fine and dandy. So additionally, for Captain Rex, you can throw him in any number of teams. You'll get some of the kills with him with Phoenix in Sector 5. You can also throw him in, of course, with Galactic Republic uh, leaders like JMK. Here we can double up. Just imagine Master Qui-Gon Jinn and OG Qui-Gon Jinn. JMK with Cat going up against those Geos. The only thing I would say is Geos always target the weakest enemy, or ally rather. So you're just going to want to put that DI over there on Qui-Gon Jinn. Um, to help them out. Now, if you've obviously got a little bit more in the bank as far as um, as far as stamina is concerned, being a little bit better off than I am currently, then you should be in a much better position. Unfortunately, we can't pass over those Captain Rex. That would have been really nice if we could have done that. Um, but we should generate some turn meter. Actually, we can't generate turn meter, can we? We can't generate turn meter because Captain Rex, uh, Jane K, stops all that business. But an AOE here from Captain Rex sees off all the Geos in one go. And that gets you two global feats working at once, right? You get the Captain Rex and the Master Qui-Gon Jinn, Padawan Obi-Wan. I know I wasn't using them there, but the same principle applies. I just don't have any stamina, guys. I've had to do this in two days. Um, Amazing, amazing. I think that's going to about do it for our feats then. For global feats, hope it was useful to you. If it was, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing to your boy Scribe. Thanks to my patrons, you guys are incredible. Massive, massive love. I wouldn't be able to do this without you. Massive, massive support from you guys is huge. Until the very next video, guys, peace out, and may the Force be with you.